Hi, in this problem we're going to evaluate this limit. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the finite sum from one to n of 24i over n squared. Let's go ahead and work through it very carefully. So I'm gonna start by just writing down the problem one more time. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity of the finite sum as i runs from one to n of 24i over n squared. Okay, so let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. So because this finite sum depends on i, we can't really pull the i outside of the sum. But what we can do is we can pull everything else outside of the sum. So the 24 and the n squared, we can put them out here. And then we still have this finite sum as i runs from one to n, and we're left with simply i. And the reason we did that is because now it's a little more clear when we apply a formula. So this here, this finite sum, is a special formula. If you look at the sum as i runs from one to n of i, this is equal to n times n plus one, all divided by two. This is a super powerful formula. Uh, very, very useful. So this is now going to become limit as n approaches infinity of 24 over n squared times, and now we're going to apply the formula to what you see here in the blue box. So this is n, n plus one, and it's all divided by two. All right, so let's see what happens here. We could simplify this a little bit if we like. Let's go ahead and do that. This is the limit as n approaches infinity. So 24 over two is 12. I'm going to put the 12 um, here. And then we're gonna lose an n here. So it'll be 12 over n times n plus one. And it's really over one, right? Because two goes into two once. Who goes into 24 12 times. Everything looks okay. And we can take the limit now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another step here just to make it a little more clear. We could have actually taken the limit up here and I'll show you how in a second. So this would be uh, 12, oops, 12 times m plus one over n. And so basically, we have a polynomial in n here uh, divided by a polynomial in n, right? This is n to the first power, and this is n to the first power. So whenever the degrees, right, one is the degree, whenever the degrees match, and you're taking a limit as n approaches infinity, uh, the answer is always the ratio of the leading coefficients. So there's a one here, so it's just gonna be this number over this number, so 12 over one, which is equal to 12. So normally, I would just do it up here. I could, from here you can see it without simplifying it. It's basically n squared, n squared. So it's 24 over two, which is 12. See, typically that's how you do it in practice. You don't do all of this. Um, these problems come up later when you go further in calculus and you're computing uh, areas under curves using uh, the actual integral definition that involves limits. So you get some really big expression and really simplifying it like this almost makes it harder. So here you do 24, n times n is n squared. So the leading coefficient here is 24 n squared. Down here, it's two n squared. Because the degrees match, it's just 24 over two, and so the answer is 12. And you can do that when n is approaching infinity. Kind of a cool problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.